Jelly Bean Story Page, Jesse and Jacob, The Witch and Warlock Mystery Adventure. It was a foggy afternoon when Jesse, the clever young witch with a knack for potions, and Jacob, the witty warlock who loved casting tricky spells, found themselves at the heart of a brand new mystery. They lived on the corner of Spindle Street in a cozy cottage filled with magical trinkets and spell books, but today, their cozy home was buzzing with excitement. Something strange had been happening in the nearby enchanted woods, and it was up to them to solve the case. The case of the vanishing treats. For weeks, villagers had been reporting missing candies, cookies, and magical treats, items disappearing without a trace. The enchanted forest, known for its beautiful glowing trees and shimmering flowers, had become a hot spot for the strange disappearances. Every evening, treats placed outside for woodland creatures vanished, leaving behind only tiny footprints and a faint smell of marshmallows. Jessie, with her trusty broomstick in hand, and Jacob, with his enchanted spell book, decided to investigate. As they made their way into the woods, Jessie noticed something odd. Jacob, look at these footprints. They seem to appear and then disappear as if something's hopping in and out of thin air. Jacob nodded, rubbing his chin thoughtfully. Looks like an invisibility charm might be involved. Let's see if we can reveal what's really going on. They followed the trail of disappearing footprints deeper into the woods, using a potion Jesse had brewed earlier to make any hidden creatures visible. Suddenly, they spotted a flicker of movement, tiny glowing eyes peeking out from behind a tree. Gotcha, Jesse exclaimed tossing a handful of the revealing potion into the air. To their surprise, a group of mischievous, tiny forest creatures, called Wiffles, appeared, each carrying bundles of stolen treats. The Wiffles giggled and tried to dart away, but Jacob quickly cast a spell that created a bubble around them. Why are you stealing the village treats? Jacob asked, raising an eyebrow. The Wiffles looked at each other sheepishly before one spoke up. We didn't mean to steal, honest. We just wanted to throw a party for our friend, the great ghost of the enchanted woods. But we didn't have any treats, so we borrowed some. Jesse smiled kindly. You could have just asked. The villagers love sharing, especially for a good cause like a party. Let's help you throw the best party ever, and return what you took. The Wiffles beamed with joy, and with Jesse and Jacob's magical help, they planned a grand celebration right there in the heart of the woods. They returned the stolen treats and, in exchange, the villagers donated even more goodies to the party. The big reveal. But just when everything seemed perfect, Jesse's keen senses tingled. Jacob, something still feels off. The Wiffles didn't steal all those treats, someone else was involved. Jacob agreed, his spellbook glowing as he flipped through the pages. There's more magic in the air. A trickster is at play. They followed their instincts, which led them to a large, hollow tree. Inside, they found the real mastermind, a sneaky raccoon named Rusty, who had been using the Wiffles as a cover for his own sweet tooth. Rusty had enchanted the forest to make it seem like the Wiffles were the only ones responsible. Rusty, Jessie said, wagging her finger. You've been caught red-handed. The raccoon sighed, knowing the jig was up. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I just wanted a few extra marshmallows. They laughed it off and invited Rusty to the party promising there'd be enough treats for everyone. The Scooby-Doo style party. With the mystery solved, it was time for the Scooby-Doo party. Jesse and Jacob enchanted the woods, turning it into a magical celebration zone. There were glowing lanterns floating in the air, dancing broomsticks, and a giant cake that magically refilled itself after every slice. The Wiffles, Rusty, and all the woodland creatures danced to spooky fun music, and Jesse even brewed a fizzy potion that made everyone float for a few seconds whenever they laughed. Jacob showed off his spell-casting skills, creating fireworks that spelled out best party ever. Across the sky. At the end of the night, Jesse and Jacob sat by the magical campfire, happy that they had solved the mystery and made new friends. And just like any great mystery, the adventure ended with laughter, a few happy tears, and of course, plenty of snacks. Let's do this again sometime. Jesse said with a wink. You bet, Jacob replied, already thinking of what their next mystery might be. The end.